Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the FLIR 1 Gen 3 thermal imaging camera. I have the USB-C version for Android. They also make an iOS version. The infrared camera comes with a really nice hard case that protects it. It's got a bungee strap for it right here. Then you got spot for a USB-C charging cable. So here's the unit up close. You just got your USB-C port right here that plugs into your phone. And it's actually got a thumb wheel that will adjust this up and down in case you've got a big case or different phone geometry. So it will get a snug fit with this tight against the bottom of the phone. On the front here, you've got your traditional camera and your IR camera. And then on the bottom, you've got your on off button and your charging port. The app is super easy to use for this. Uh, it's got a bunch of different settings. You can change whether you want Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can change whether or not it gives you a temperature in the center. You can also change the color scheme. So you can use a different color scheme if, if you want like a rainbow one or if you want the standard heat map style one, you can use whatever you want. So this is useful for a ton of things. I used it in my house to find where I needed to put better seals on my doors. I also found spots that weren't insulated enough in my ceiling. You can clearly see the spots where the insulation ends. You can see where the studs are on a cold day or a hot day due to the heat transfer between those uh, versus the gaps in your wall or the insulation in your wall. So you can see uh, where you need to insulate more, where you need to seal your doors. You can also use this to find water leaks. Uh, we spilled some water on the floor on one of our carpet and I wanted to make sure I had it all up. And you can clearly see all the spots uh, that were wet uh, that we had to get dried out. Uh, you can also see imprints from if you put your hand on something and move it, it, it's sensitive enough that it will see that impression left, the heat left from your hand on a surface. I've even used this to check the temperature of food coming out of the microwave because I don't necessarily want to stick my hand in it and I want to make sure there aren't any cold spots or excessively hot spots. This also has a traditional camera built in with a high pass filter that will give you the outline of whatever you're looking at. So this has a ton of uses for a homeowner and DIYer as well as a professional. Uh, I really like being able to use this and just throw it on the camera on my phone and use it for whatever I want to. So I think this is a great tool to have in the toolbox. I'm always surprised at how often I find myself using this.